My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. It was a good idea to get some sleep, Amran. It's a new day. And we have a new mission. That fragment we found. There's more to the story we need to investigate. Let's go. I'm trying to get through these missions with magic only. It's a challenge that Amran has given me because he thinks that I'm too powerful. What's this? With my sword. A necromancer. Well, I'll take the soul gem for sure. All right, let's keep going. Just a deer. I suppose we could have taken a horse, but I had no idea how far away this was. This is the where Brother Thorlo lives. I've been brought back here. I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. What do you do around here? I help Brother Thorlo tend to the Priory and keep order in our pursuit of knowledge. Though, I can't say I've done that job very well recently. What do you mean? There used to be another Prior here, Brother Vernon. While we wanted to research slowly and cautiously, he wanted to rush through, using whatever magical items we obtained without restraint. On top of that, he wished to learn anything he could about magic, regardless of its source. His worst vice was that of necromancy. His ways finally caught with him, and he accidentally harmed two other priors. We expelled him immediately from the monastery, and stripped him of his status as a prior. We sent him on his way letting him grab only a few things from his room. However, we know there was more. We are all convinced that Brother Vernon had some sort of a lair or refuge around a the lair, fire. really? It's probably a place where he hid things and conducted a lot of his unorthodox research. But we have been unable to find it. All right, well, then I will find Brother Vernon's stuff for you. Really? You would do that for us? <laughs> Thank you. We know he hid somewhere on the grounds, just not where. You can ask around if you have to. Some of the other priors may know something of use. Please, bring me anything of interest that you find. All right. Farewell. Where's Amran? 
So, I imagine that this man is standing here conveniently for me to question. Prior? I'm sorry, I have no time to speak to you right now. Really? But yet you are speaking, and you'll continue to do so. Do you know where Vernon may have hidden his things? Wherever it was, I doubt it was inside of the Priory. They aren't any good places. He would want plenty of space to try things. Thank you. I hated to have to compel you, but you were being obstinate. Be careful out there. <laughs> oh, it's you that needs to be careful. Anger me, and your life will be over. All right, where is Aaron? Okay, I can hear your armor. All right, we're done in here. Let's see what's outside these doors. Ah, another man conveniently positioned. Prior. Times are tough. Do you know where Vernon may have hidden his things? Well, he liked to go for walks at night. I'm not really sure when he found the time to sleep. It sure <laughs> seemed odd at the time. All right. May the nine guide you. What do you think, Amran? Should I question this horse? I'm not even gonna laugh on that one. This looks very suspicious to me. All right, I suppose there's nothing hidden here. I'm sorry for all the jumping around, Amran. Um, there really doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. But this looks like another man, and there's someone there sleeping, too. Priya? Good day to you. And to you. Do you know where brother... Where, I'm sorry, Vernon may have hidden his things, Amran? Amran, I'm talking and you're pushing me. Do you? I'm afraid not. He liked to test out various magics, so... Wherever it was, it would be somewhere that we couldn't hear his... trials. Thank you. Be safe. Uh, what? It's not I'm Amran sorry. that's pushing me. It's the Prior. You. Yes? I know you have something that you want to say to me. Do you know where Vernon may have hidden his things? He usually spent time around a pond during the day. I'd assume wherever he hid, it would be easy accessible. He was not a man of patience. Fair travels. Hmm, yes. The pond. Does that help? Is this a pond? It's hard to say. Ah, oh, there's still this person here. Priya. May the gods watch over you. Oh, you're the same one I spoke to earlier. Be careful out there. Hmm. There's really not that much to these grounds. Maybe upstairs. Is this someone new? No, that's the rude man. Is there anyone over here? Okay, I have to go. There. How about
about this man, Priya. Hello. Hello. Have I spoken to you already? Somehow I think I have. May the Nine guide you. Just get out of my way, Amran. I'm in the middle of an investigation. I think we've spoken to everyone. Need something, friend? Yes. I hope Talos has been kind to you. Ah, I was Farewell. hoping... ...that you might be willing to talk some more. May the gods watch over you. Oh. Be safe. Who's that hammering? <laughs> I don't know where else we can look. The grounds are really not that big. There is a... It's like a cave in the distance. On the other side of that mountain. Have we talked to you? I'm sorry, I have no time to speak to you right now. <laughs> I could compel you, but we've already spoken. Hmm. <clears throat> Any ideas, Amran? This could be considered a pond. Ah, look. A hideout. I suppose I'll take a look. for the time being before I'm forced to destroy. What? Is this another dead end? A journal, of course. You open the book and read it, and a mysterious crystal falls out from a space between some of the pages. You place it back in the book. This would certainly be of interest to Brother Anon. Arnon. Oh, plus I can read. <coughs> I've finally done it. I've located the long-lost Daedric artifact known as the Dream Crystals. However, I have run into a problem. There is some kind of protective magic shielding them from our world. They are useless to me in this state. 
Luckily for me, my recent expeditions into the magics of necromancy have allowed me to meet some pertinent individuals. I will show them the crystals and see if they will help me decode the magics within. I have shown the crystals to my companions and they are eager as I am to unlock the magic within. There are five crystals, so I will be keeping one, and we will be sending off the others to various groups. Not only must we do this quickly, but we must keep them separate. If they fall into the wrong hands, I will never be able to use them. The incantations on them are tricky, but I have faith that we will be able to remove them soon enough. It is then that I will be able to utilize them. I am not yet sure for what, but I will come up with something, perhaps to boost my necromancy. An undead servant? Can you imagine the joy in that? Someone to clean up after you, serve you meals, and give you a hand, without having to feed or care for them or any worry for their happiness. I can't see why any wouldn't want such a thing. Or perhaps even a boost to the local guard. Imagine the power in numbers of having an army of the undead at your disposal. That would certainly help settle the conflict in this land. We shall find a use. I am sure of it. The research goes well. We have broken the seal on one crystal. I am close to decoding my own as well. We make good progress. I have moved my research into a small cavern behind the priory. The others have made uneasy whenever... Oh, the others are made uneasy whenever I express interest in such artifacts or the study of the undead. I am sure, I am unsure why they seem over-cautious in their endeavors. This angers me greatly. They are throwing away so much potential. The world could be changed by these magics and the study of such arts. Why must they cast negative stigmas on them? I do not understand. Regardless, I will show them. I will unlock the magic of the crystals myself. And I will show them how helpful it can be. I will soon return to Volkrund Keep. There, I may begin the practice of using the crystals as we break each seal. I'm very excited to use them, as they have already shown great effects. Mind control, adjustment, and even manipulation of the world around the user. Such power must not be wasted. I will not allow it to be wasted. This is power that I could use. This makes this whole endeavor even more interesting. All right, Amran. Brother Arnand. Really, you're just going to walk Good away. To you. I hope Brother Talos Arnand. Has been kind to you. Yes. I've found Ver Vernon's hideout. This journal was in it. Look at what's inside of it. 
And I do have to say that the entrance is right on the other side of the pond there. What is this? Some kind of a crystal? Hmm. I must do some reading on this. Please, give me a day and then return. Really? I will need your further assistance. Oh, and here, for your time thus far. Thank you. Really? I have to come back in a day. See ya. <laughs> the gall of these people. All right. Uh. Amran, I think we're just gonna stay here. Rather than wander off. I'm sure they won't object to you sleeping in their beds. Or bed. Whichever one, just grab one. I, on the other hand, will just sit here and meditate for about 24 hours. Though the danger in that is that my hunger it may get out of control, and one of these priors may be my next meal. sleep and a nice meal. Let's get to the bottom of this. Huh? Oh, excuse me. I'm no. asleep in thought. What can this Hold. humble monk help you with? Have you completed your research? Yes, I have. And I'm afraid the situation is not good. The crystal is a fragment from something called the Dream Crystal. It is, I fear, a Daedric artifact. It can be used by the Holder to create an alternate world of limited scale in the plains of Oblivion. Where what? the user may create anything they could possibly dream of. The crystal was discovered long ago and shattered into five pieces. Onto these five pieces was placed an incantation, sealing the dark magic within and preventing their use. It would appear that somehow, Vernon has found the crystal shards. He sent four of them off to be studied by his pupils, the lowly necromancers that plague the land. However, it appears when we threw him out that he did not have time to reacquire this one, though we caught him sneaking around here. So he tried. Is this why you threw him out? Not directly. We knew he was touring with powerful artifacts, but not this one in particular. I'm surprised he even found it. Even worse now, his cult has four of the pieces. They're probably trying to break the incantation, which has most likely worn down over the years. So. We need to get those fragments from them. The problem is that I haven't a clue where they might be, and there is no way to track them. That's why I was hoping you, the Traveler, could search for them. Keep an eye out, and if you acquire them during your travels, bring them to me. Any place with necromancers may have one of the shards. If you find such a place, search it, or ask around the nearby settlements. The crystals probably move around as the necromancers try various things on them. 
Return once you have gathered all four shards, and we will decide how to proceed. <laughs> Very well, this sounds like a lengthy assignment. But I will keep an eye out. I'll be waiting here. Mm, I'm sure you will. Safe travels. All right, Amran. We'll be at this for some time. What else is on our list? Do you have our... our assignments? All right. I think we're going to go ahead to Aspenfall Lodge. It's where I was attacked right early on. By bandits. so hungry and I think I'm in the right place to be fed hmm, so apparently I killed them all the ones that were here on the surface strong box All right, here it is, Amran. Let's go.